John Bowen making his way to the ring will be contesting for the franchise title tonight. And this man is an international superstar. He has tore it up in Japan, tore it up in Canada, tore it up in Mexico, and of course, for coast to coast across the USA. He's had a taste of TNA, a taste of the WWE, and he is looking for the true big time. He's looking to unseat Rough Crossing and become the new PTP franchise champion and set himself on a path to monstrous things in the future. John Bowen making a debut in the perfect round. <laughs> and of course you hear the music of our P Franchise heavyweight champion, the Big Cowboy from Sweetgrass, Montana. He is rough, crossing. Rough crossing. Nothing but the very, very best on the independent circuit that he has faced since gaining the PGP franchise title and tonight is no exception they just keep getting better they just keep getting bigger and they just keep getting better as he is getting ready to square off against John Bullen in tonight's main event one badass dude against another badass dude this JP is going to be a flat out fight for a title. And rough Crossing, he has defeated some amazing competitors since having this belt. He's defeated Tyson Dukes, Jake Durden, Christian Rhodes, Shane Hollister, a literal who's who of the independence best. But has he ever still. defeated Bolin? This is Bowen's and Roll Venture to the Proving Ground, and this may well be the most serious challenge to that title Rough Crossing to face. Welfare checks, JP. I don't know if they needed that. Let me introduce 
We are in Sherman. Thank you. This is an, this is an affluent community. And I got my hawk feet tied. My birds are Tom Bullock feeling like he's got There's everything going his way. Roth. Crossing. Back up. Back up there, too, son. Come out here thinking you're like Val Kilmer from the movie Tombstone. What are you supposed to be, my Huckleberry? Son, all I know is this. When you get in the ring with me, the only thing going through that pea brain head of yours better be yippee ki yay, mother. Whoa, and he cut Bolin's promo off, and maybe just in time. I wanted to hear what he was going to say. I think you have to watch the movie Die Hard to hear what he was going to say. yippee ki yay, mother what? I'm not sure. That's going to live in curiosity forever. And, and look at Rough Cross and giving John Bolin a tour of the PGP ring. But you know what? Rough Crossing did attack him before the match officially got underway. So technically, Rough cheated right in front of the referee. Yes, but he saved the children from hearing bad language. Bad language? What was he going to say? I'm not sure, but I don't think it was good. Bowling being oh, smart. and Bowling ducks out before the big boot. Get the chance smart. to clear the cobwebs and get a fresh start here. Because like you said, Ruff got a fast start, and I don't think Bowling saw that one coming. But, oh! Trying to cut him off. Nice failed. move by Ruff. Suckered Bowling into that big elbow. And now they're on the outside of the ring. The referee needs to get control of this oh, right now. Nice chop. Rough crossing, unloading the heavy ammo right across John Bullen. Bullen cuts him off with a huge knee in the midsection, rolls back in, stops that count, starts it over again, and is going to continue. That no! Oh, my God. Did he break his hand on that? Chops the Turn post. What an opportune move for Crossing to get out of the way and let that right let that into the side do of the, the damage. But yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's just wooden steel over there. Oh, and right into the lower ribs. That is gonna make breathing a chore. Rough Crossing's in trouble early. That's your champion. Misses wow, the elbow, Bullen does looking Bullen. for that huge heavy elbow. Ruff does Ruff as looking well. for a big elbow too. Neither one of them can find what they're looking for. They're both looking to deliver that big heavy payload and neither one of them can deliver. Right into that shoulder. Rough crossing creating an advantage. That's not gonna be enough to take out Bowlin. One count only, a one count. That was way too early to try to pin Pin John Bullen and seriously think you were going to get a three. I'll tell you something. Bullen's got an almost 700 pound bench press to his credit, JP. 679 pounds. He is an a powerhouse, doesn't begin to describe it. So, Rough Crossing absolutely has his work cut out for him. And that's why I asked you earlier. You named off everybody that Rough Crossing has beat in the past, but has he ever beat? None of those men were named John Bullen. I will agree with that. This is a first-time encounter. That's what you love about the Proving Ground. We are famous for first-time encounters. No one else has ever seen this match before, JP. And this your is champion is in trouble. Oh my Did Lord! Did you hear what the buckle force? Snap. The buckle snap. I thought the ring was breaking on that. And he is up, and he is into that other buckle hard. His back might may very well be broken. Rolling with an immense amount of force. 
big, huge body weight in over that throat on the rope, man. He is just pressing that advantage. He has rough and some serious trouble. Huge chop. Oh my lord, what heavy thuds. They echo throughout the entire room. Echo and echo with that bass tone that means, oh my god, it hit so hard. Another buckle and Oh, and a what a clothesline. Hits the rope. The bullet gaining back. momentum and a another huge one. Oh. Big side slam. Jesus. I thought he was going to drive him completely through the ring, Jake. Your champion's back may be broken. Dear God. But I'm going to tell you, rough crossing Still is on the double back is tough. Bullet. And he's going to need every bit of that double toughness tonight. There's no doubt about that. John Bullen looks like he is going to take Ruff to the absolute limit tonight and may well be, <laughs> may well be our new franchise champion. Look at him mocking Ruff Crossing. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, JP. I, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think it's a good plan to make the big cowboy mad. He's got the cowbell! Look out, he's looking to do damage with that bell and rope. And he is after rough crossing. I want more cowbell! I want more cowbell! There's nothing that can't be better with a little more cowbell. I think it's the first thing we agreed on. Hey, there it is! Boy, John Bull is a natural with that uh, bell and rope. I don't know, maybe he's got a little uh, cowboy in his background too, Jay. I'm getting to the know. side of the ring where there's absolutely no give. And look at that bull and push him back into the right inside now, of the ring. He wants that franchise title. Well, he has run completely One, at a disadvantage. Two, this is, could be, oh my lord. A little bit on the slow side right there on that count. Giving him plenty of time to get that shoulder up, there's no doubt. He didn't rush into that count. Not gonna lie. But as long as he keeps it even for both competitors, I got no problem He's with that. Still working on that back is Bolin. John Bolin is a powerhouse and he is destroying Rough Crossing back right now. That's that is Bolin's game. A destroyer. Aptly oh, put, right JP. Just this right man sends chills right up the spine. And he and has again. rough crossing at a huge disadvantage. The champion is wilting right here. There's a pin. One, two. Two and three quarter. And talk about barely able to slide out right of that. Again. One, two. And a two count again is Bolin. Ruff has a little fight left in him. He keeps sticking on it too. He's a double tough cowboy, JP. That's why he's got it that goal. It doesn't matter but how tough you are. I hate to cut you off, but it doesn't matter how tough you are. When you take so much punishment to the back like that, like John Bullen has dished out already in this match, early in this match, it's going to take on a toll on whoever you are. Absolutely, and Rough Crossing is showing exactly that. Look at Bull and press that advantage. Still Look at him twist that back. back. He's picked out his point on the body and just working it, JP. He's gone after He's that back from Jump Street. The ref doesn't see it. It's only legal if the ref doesn't see it. I've pointed that out before. Right there, he's using the rope as leverage. I can't. I, I gotta agree. It's not ethical, but you ain't lying. If the ref can't hey, see there it, it is again, he can't call on it. That back, but the look there. It. Now he can it see it. It doesn't matter about ethics and at all. Now he's it's calling. all about the win. I John am. Bolin wants the title. He's gonna do by anything necessary to win that title. Oh, he's whether gonna it's pull out every stop or not. If Bullen the ref pull doesn't out see every it, stop, it ain't cheating. Oh, but look at that. He took his eyes off the prize. Took his eyes off rough crossing and it almost cost him. Only a two and a again a two count. And that created the opening rough needed and again another a two, two count. count. Rough can go all night and go a little longer, JP. He has got a ton of cardio and he is one tough, strong cowboy. He just pushed him. Look at My the strength God, of John. What an Bowen. elbow. What a shoulder. We just lifted him up off the 
four foot in the air. And again, Ruff lands on the back. It's like getting hit Putting by a car. Putting more stress on that back of Ruff Crossing. Like being run over by a car in there. The crossing's down and maybe out. He is barely able to move at this point. And look at Bowen sizing him up for the kill. This could be it. This could be the end. We've already seen one championship change here tonight. Unfortunately, Mario lost his title, but we could see a very fortunate change in the franchise title right here, right now, tonight. Oh, John Bowen could easily win this. He is he is commanding this match, and he has points of one. A spear from he the middle rope. Good himself. God almighty. He broke Ruff Crossing in half, JP. This could be it. New champion. Oh, what is he thinking? What is he thinking? You should never, ever do that to Rough Crossing. If you've got him beat, don't toy with this man. He's embarrassing him. That's what he's doing. That's exactly what's happening right now, is he is embarrassing Rough Crossing. He knows he has the title won, so all he's doing is embarrassing your champion right now. Well, I, I can't lie, it's an embarrassment at this point, but oh my lord, he almost, there's the problem, JP. You give Ruff another day, another chance, another breath, you may live to regret it. And but look, Ruff is down too. Yeah, he, may have, he may have gotten that clothesline out of pure instinct, but he's also still down. The Cowboy has taken an immense amount of punishment, but that huge clothesline he connected with also Rock Bowen. Both guys struggling to get to their feet. Where's this gonna end up? They're both up. Back elbow by Ruff. High knee by Ruff. Bowen staggering, but still not down. This is the clothesline. Punch, punch, punch. And look at A little at bit of Ruff. rock and roll. Awesome rock and roll, rocking and rolling. He's finding that up. opening and pressing that advantage. Rough crossing starting to go here. I want to point one thing out. There were all close fists, and the referee did nothing for the close fists. Oh, what and a shoulder. shoulder. What a monstrous shoulder. Reverse atomic drop. Bull is in trouble. Big elbow right to the forehead, and Bowen does it. Thinks he has it. Bowen's on Dream Street right here. Introducing him to the turnbuckle, belly to belly, belly, to belly, belly suplex. Like Sounded like it broke the ring too, and a two, only a two. Bowen still has life in him. What high impact! What a vicious match! What powerhouses in there. My God, JP. And the crowd wants rough finisher, the tombstone pile driver. They're calling for it. And now Ruff's now Ruff calling calls for, it. for it. It could be over, but you know what? John Bowen's too smart. He's a powerhouse, he knows what's coming. He may escape from it, you never know. He's, see there, good call, JP. Oh, wait a minute. Double escape, Mullins on top of his game and here. And catches Look him in midair. Look at that, caught him right in midair. Oh, Big Lord, he horsed slam. him all the way over. One, two, three, what? What a beast. That was only a two? Are you kidding me? That was pure beast mode. Did you see him horse him over like that? And now look at him putting the boots to rough crossing. And now a huge piston pumping fist right to the forehead. Pemberton's trying to break this up. He doesn't want to disqualify a championship match. He's checking on crossing. He's crossing no, water. what's Bolin doing right now? I think Bolin's got what? something up his sleeve. Ooh, what is he doing? Is he monkeying with that turnbuckle pad over there? Crossing's in trouble. The ref's checking on him, and you are absolutely right. Bolin is up to something in that corner. He's gotten rid of that turnbuckle. He has. 
It's exposed the steel and on that, that turnbuckle right dangerous. now. That He's got is something you know, if he puts Ruff's back into that exposed steel, it could legitimately break Ruff's back. There it goes! Oh, Ruff managed to cut Bowen off, and he's fighting away. He's fighting out of that corner. Now Ruff's aware of that missing buckle, too. Both Bowen men stops it. desperately trying to avoid it. And goes into it! That should be a disqualification! Oh, no, it shouldn't. He's the one that got rid of the pad, for God's sakes. He's in trouble, though. He's in position. Tombstone! Two, three. Oh, my God, JP, that's it! This is a complete injustice to John Boland. A complete injustice. Absolutely not. It should have been a disqualification when Ruff ran John Boland into the exposed steel. But there's your champion after the tombstone pile driver, after the three count, your franchise champion, Ruff. There Crossing. should be an asterisk. There should be an asterisk in front of Ruff Crossing's name because he used exposed steel to keep his title. He needed to cheat to keep his title. He couldn't beat John Bolin. One, two, three, fair and square in the middle of the ring. He needed to use exposed steel. But look at the fans. How can you they condone love that? It. How can you condone a cheater as your franchise champion? I can only condone the three count, condone the fact that he fought all night, and condone the fact that he came out the winner. He's a cheater. He's a cheat. He kept his title because he cheated. Well, let me tell you, JP, this is wrapping up the great American Bash in the Proving Ground. I can't thank you enough for sitting in tonight. It's great that you got a chance to scout some talent. Oh, I've got talent coming in. And come September, you're going to see a lot of changes in Proving Ground Pro. And I may start with that champion because he has the cheat to win. What a night from the Proving Ground. Thanks so much for watching the great American Bash.